Bitch, what's up, guys? And ladies, this episode I'm reviewing Futurama's Bender for more action collectibles. <laughs> so kicking it off, so it's Futurama. You see Planet Express ship. You got the cityscape right there. Don't be choking on nothing. Get a good look at Bender in the front. You see all the accessories that comes with them, and we have a lot going on on the back. You can see they labeled all his appendages and functions with a brief description. You can see the antenna, hard drive, optic units. They can spot a sucker and precisely calculate the size of his wallet up to a half mile away. Impressive. Vocalizing orifice, extendable bending limb, motorized mixing digits, storage cabinet, lower transit appendage. And feel free to pause and read the little descriptions. And some of the other figures they released. All right, let's open them up. So Bender's biggest accessory is figure stand slash suicide boost. And a quick look at the detail, it says suicide booth, it's only 25 cents, which is a pretty good deal. And you can see that the peg holes are sculpted in the bottom right there. The suicide booth comes in two separate pieces, and it's just a flat piece of plastic. Also comes with a small can of mom's old-fashioned robot oil. And of course he's got a 40-ounce bottle of malt liquor. And this little bendable girder. He's also got a little stack of haggard-ass looking money. And he's got peg holes on the bottom of the money, but I'm assuming that's just from the mold of it. So this is everything that comes in the packaging, and you can see Bender sizing up to it all. So you can fit the girder and the malt liquor in his hand, everything else, not really. And you can make him bend the girder. So far, this figure's looking spot on. Let's get a closer look. The head sculpt on this is perfect. Looks just like Bender. Although his little Bender on mine looks a little wonky, but everything else looks pretty good. And the paint applications are pretty spot on, although there is a little speck above his left eye. I could probably touch that up. Then you get the different hues of gray. A little messy on the hands, but all together looks pretty good and his backside. So it's just all solid paint. You can see the little holes in the arms and the legs because it is bendable. And please refrain from biting a shiny metal ass till the end of the episode. Thanks. Articulation. So the head can move side to side and his arms can spin all the way around. And his arm goes up about that much. And his arms are bendy wire, so you can do quite a few different poses with that. And his hands are just squishy. There's no wire in them. It's a little tricky, but you can get a storage cabinet to pop open. You can store some beer up in there and some robot oil. So his legs are the flexi bendy wire. So you can get a wide range of motion back and forth. And then bowed out about that much. And he does have pickles. So Bender clocks in about six inches tall. I didn't have any floozy bots, so Gamora and Felicia will do. Oh yeah. And here he is next to Macho Man. Oh yeah. And a Star Wars Black Series Boba Fett. I'm a big fan of Bender, so for me this one was a must. I had been wanting it for a long time and picked it up a while back at a con. I got it for a real good price. It is from 2000, so it's an old figure, and a lot of people try to book for this. So, I mean, just keep your eyes peeled at toy shows and conventions, stuff like that. You'll probably find it. Thanks for watching this review. Subscribe, check out my other videos, and we'll see you next time. I am Bender. Please insert Gurner.